whole IoT and MTM world really uh, depends on a lot of ecosystem partners. Uh, the, uh, the carrier part of it is really with providing the connectivity and the network, but we're going beyond just that because we don't want to be just a dumb pipe. We want to add more value and move up the value chain. So we see ourselves as also solution providers across multiple verticals of MTM. Right now, MTM is still an emerging area. So there's a lot of companies, a lot of innovation that has taken place. And I would say we'll continue for a little while. This is not gonna happen over the you know, one, two years, probably maybe five years down the line, which is good in a sense because we're gonna see a lot of innovation and then ultimately we're gonna see a lot of consolidation. I think a couple of things that will bring that to bear is uh, standardization across multiple technologies and also maybe even across multiple locations. That's going to help. You're going to see also alliances that are kind of being built and really redefining how the business model is going to work for machine to machine. Because a lot of time when we talk about machine to machine, uh, the idea of low ARPU or low uh, revenue come into play. But we, what we don't think about is uh, the usage is so little that if you compare apples to apples, it's actually we're in a very good spot. Most applications are bursty, not thirsty. So they don't require a whole lot of data. And yes, it's low ARPU, but it's the margins are very nice as well as you know, uh, utilization of the network really makes a lot of sense. Where do we focus? Because you, you don't want to be the jack of all trades. Maybe initially you want to do you know, kind of a gunshot approach and kind of see what, what takes. Um, traditionally, we've done a lot of good work and a lot of good things actually in the transportation area. And I think that's going to continue to be the bread and butter of a lot of uh, MTM just because of the location technology and the capability of wireless technology to, to do that. And this really includes everything on wheels, you know, from cars to fleet management to asset management. That's going to continue to thrive. And another area that we see also happening is the retail segment. So we're talking about retailers, um, you know, top box retailers and also small retailers, uh, you know, uh, shops. Um, and what, we, what we're seeing is it's becoming more of an intelligent retailer type of approach where they have a real connection and engagement with the customer. And that's where the value comes into play. So the customer, when they walk into a retailer, they're being recognized by Beacon Solutions and say, hey, this is such and such. They're also being um, provided the opportunity to browse across digital signage, the opportunity to actually pay anywhere because of that you know, capability. And of course, on the back end from the retailer perspective, the, all the inventory management as well as the fleet management if they have it and the remote monitoring. So it's a very complete uh, multi-faceted and multi-solution based, that's another area that's also exploring. So, you know, Sprint traditionally has been mostly in the United States. So this was our first kind of coming out party to be, you know, more global. And we chose this particular venue for a reason, because there's a lot of credibility behind it. And just coming here to London and seeing the amount of crowds is just fascinating. And, uh, you know, I've asked a lot of people, this is our first time coming in, but we asked a lot of people about, you know, how was the attendance and it's growing tremendously. So. You know, we uh, we continue will continue to support it and and be part of it as well. You know, other than of course um, the the venue being wonderful here at the MTM World Congress, and uh, the amount of uh, ecosystem partners that actually show up is also extremely uh, valuable. So you know, uh, onwards and upwards with MTM World Congress.